our Storymaker series for Holy Week. Here we have a new zine just for Easter. Hopefully you have one too, but if not, feel free to just follow along with us. We're going to take a journey, and our first story today is about the feet. This, of course, is for Maundy Thursday. We see here someone pouring out some water into a bowl. Someone's foot is in there. Here's our verse for today. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, just as I have loved you, so you are to love one another. This is from the Gospel of John chapter 13. So let's hear a little bit more about this story. Okay, so this story is called The Feet, and it comes from John 13, verses 1 through 17, and verses 34 to 36. We need a narrator, we need Peter, Jesus, and the disciples. Who are you going to be? Uh, the narrator and Peter. Okay, so I'll be Jesus and the group of disciples. You start us. Okay, the Passover dinner began when Jesus got up and prepared to wash the feet of his disciples. While Jesus ate, he knew it was time that he would leave his friends and take on the brokenness of the whole world. Jesus, what are you doing? I am going to wash your feet. How could you, our teacher, wash our feet? Peter, I wash your feet as a sign, a covering, and cleaning, so you will be with me forever. Jesus washed the feet of his disciples except for Judas. Judas was in charge of the money and already had gone to betray Jesus, just as the prophets had said. Jesus, we will never be apart and I will never betray you. Peter, before the sun rises and the rooster crows three times, you will deny me. What is Jesus talking about? The disciples did not understand this that this Jesus would be their very last supper with Jesus. That this would be their very last supper with Jesus. <laughs> In our zine, we have some illustrations of this story. Up here, we see the city of Jerusalem, the walls all around it. This is the place where Jesus spent his final days, where he was gathered with his disciples. And they gathered around for their last meal together. I wonder what they thought when Jesus all of a sudden got down and started washing their feet. I wonder what you would have thought if someone had done that for you, especially someone who you believed was the son of God. And so after he did that, he also gave them a new commandment. This is where the word Maundy Thursday comes from. It comes from the Latin word meaning commandment. And it wasn't a whole list of rules and things that they were supposed to follow like they thought. Instead, it was love one another. And so I wonder what they thought of that too, that all of Jesus' teachings boiled down to this, to love one another as he had loved them. In our field notes section here, we're going to be looking at a little bit more about this story. So it begins at the start of the Passover festival. The Passover was when they remembered how God had saved the people, the Hebrew people, out of slavery in Egypt, and how God had kept the covenant with the, that family, the Hebrew family, and how that covenant was continuing now through Jesus. And so as they were gathering for the meal, for the Passover festival, um, they were remembering God's faithfulness to them and God's promise to them. So a couple of interesting things about this story. First of all, everyone back then wore sandals. Their feet would have been really dirty because they just walked in the dirt all day long in their sandals. And so for Jesus, this was not just, um, not just a humbling act in the way of washing their feet, but washing really dirty feet. And so you can tell maybe why Peter said, no, I, I should be washing your feet. Um, another interesting thing that you might find is that the Easter egg, which we will hear more about this week, um, it symbolized the empty tomb. 
And so we know that as we're getting near to this final night of Jesus's life, that we are going to hear some sad stories this week of Good Friday and of Holy Saturday when, his, when Jesus's friends were mourning him. But then of course we know that we are waiting for the mystery of Easter when we hear the good news of the empty tomb. And so during the Passover celebration, Jesus washed the feet of his disciples and he was teaching them so many important things through this, how to serve one another, how to love one another, that he was coming to be a king, but not the kind who would ride in on a huge gallant horse and to rule over his people in the way that they thought, but instead one who would get on his knees and wash their feet and serve them in humility. So let's hear a little bit more about what we can do to respond to this story through our activity. So on the coloring page after the field notes, we have a prompt that says, share a time you were the most dirty. Did you fall in the mud or get slimy? You can draw it in here. Margaret Ann, can you think of one time? Oh, one time, like when I was playing with like slime, it got so messy. Oh, yeah, on your hands? Yeah. Ugh, that's gross. I put when I was playing in a slip and slide, and it's supposed to be clean because it's just water, but you end up covered in grass. <laughs> so how did you feel when you were icky on the inside? Can you look at the emojis below and maybe pick one that describes your feelings? Mm -mm. Maybe like the like not really scared one, but like not like this one, but like <laughs> this one. Ooh, <laughs> I like that description. You did a good play of those. Yeah. I circled the one where his eyes are like going in words like. <laughs> okay, for our comic strip today, we want you to imagine walking through the desert for 40 days with your very best friends. What do you think everyone's feet would look like? Do you think you could wash your friend's feet? Maybe not. I think even the smell would be too much for me. Yeah. 40 days in the desert. Like if you had to wash someone's sandy feet, mm. like in, like, yeah. No. <laughs> no. Well, there is a space for you to draw how dirty your feet would be. And then on the side is the comic strip where you can use colored pencils or markers or whatever you want to rewrite the story how you imagine it. Maybe you're in the story, maybe you're washing the feet, maybe Jesus is washing your feet, however you like. How would you draw it? Maybe Jesus washing my feet. Ooh. Yeah, that'd be cool. He would be plugging his nose. Plugging his nose? <laughs> okay. <laughs> On Monday, Thursday, during this last meal, Jesus also said to his disciples, remember me with the wine and with the bread. And we know that when we share the communion bread and wine and gather around the table together, whether it's virtually or in person, that Christ is with us too. And then that is a way that we can remember as often as we can, that God is our deliverer, that God's promise is kept through the covenant and that Jesus is with us even when we can't see him.